अब जो नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम है इसको हम बोलते हैं वाटर जग प्रॉब्लम द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज द वाटर जग प्रॉब्लम एंड वट इज द वाटर जग प्रॉब्लम विल बी हैविंग टू जग्स हियर सो एज्यूमिंग दैट दिस इज द फर्स्ट जग how to draw it i guess this way it will be better so this is the first jug uh, which is having some water and this is the second jug and as you can see here the size of uh, this jug is bigger than the size of this jug the the first jug is having a size of 4 liters and the second jug is having a size of 3 liters now there are no markings on these jugs there are no markings that how many liters of water is inside this jug and how many liters of water is inside this jug now the first variation is that we want to see can you write something which will tell how can you find that 1 liter of water in 3 liter jug 1 liter of water in 3 liter jug that means iska matlab kya hai कि अब आपके पास ये दो दो जग्स हैं दिस इज द फर्स्ट जग द सेकंड जग इन जग्स के अंदर यू कैन फिल वाटर ओके आप इनके अंदर वाटर फिल कर सकते हैं अब वाटर फिल करने के लिए दे इज नो लिमिटेशन आप कितना भी वाटर यूटिलाइज कर सकते हैं नाउ द थिंग इज देर इज नो मार्किंग ऑन दिस जग्स एंड यू कैनॉट मेजर वाटर बस ओनली यू नो इज दैट दिस जग इज ऑफ फोर लीटर एंड दिस जग इज ऑफ थ्री लीटर नाउ यूर एम इज to fill this 3 liter jug with 1 liter of water can you do it see if you can do it this is the first variation the second variation is like this now the capacity of the first jug is 5 liter assuming that this is the first jug let me draw jug in a different manner this time so this is the first jug okay i should have drawn them like this yeah i don't know so this is the first jug and uh, this is the second jug the second variation of the same problem okay now this first jug is of 5 liters and second jug is of 3 liters 5 liter and 3 liter jug now in the 5 liter and 3 liter jug can you fill 4 liters of water 4 liter of water in 5 liter jug 5 liter jug again there is no markings are on the jug number of uh, the amount of water you can take there is no limitation the only thing is this liter this jug can have 5 liters of water in total and this uh, jug can have 3 liters of water in total okay and again there are more variations to this problems that uh, uh, they, there can be different capacities here and this one more variation in this way you can see that this is the first jug and this is the second jug and here saying the first jug it is having some q liters of water and second jug is having some p liters of water now they will be asking you that can you find x liters of water in uh, the q liter jug or in the p liter of p liter jug so you will be asking you some questions based on this and they will be saying you that this p liter jug is having the capacity which is less than the q liter jug can you find x liter water in p or q liter jug can you find this much capacity of waters or not and so this is showing the state so initially uh, this is the problem okay now you understand the problem now can you find some steps to reach from the final initial location to the final goal or initial goal Uh, to the final goal okay so let me do one thing let me draw this one uh, okay let me continue with this one only now the first problem is this one and let us try to see can we solve the first problem where in the first problem they are saying that the first jug is of 4 liters and second jug is of 3 liters okay and initially i am showing them uh, showing how many liters of water in this jug and how many liters of water in this jug with this pair that is x comma y where x is representing this is x liter of water in the first jug and y is representing this y liters of water in the second jug okay so initially both these jugs are having 0 comma 0 that means both of them are having 0 0 liters of water and we want to reach to a final goal where there will be 1 liter of water in the 3 liter jug 
and you can transfer water from this jug obviously uh, that is I guess uh, that is intuitive and obvious now what you can do is from here you can fill 4 liters of water in the first jug that means you are going to fill this complete jug entirely the 4 liters of water here and this 3 liter water jug will be entirely empty now from this one what you can do is you can transfer some water from the 4 liter jug to the 3 liter jug and the amount of water which you can transfer that will be equal to 3 liters at maximum so you will be having 1 liter of water in the first jug and 3 liters of water in the second jug from here to here that means this jug will now be containing only 1 liter of water and this jug will be completely filled with 3 liters of water and now I guess the problem is very simple in the next step you take all the water out from this 3 liter jug and this 3 liter jug will become empty that means it is containing 0 liters of water and then you put all this 1 liter of water in the 3 liter jug so it will be containing 0, 1 0, 1 ok now for this particular case again this is the initial state this is the initial state now these are representing the middle states or the other states and this is representing the final state final state so again the same definition we have capital S we have capital S will be having a small s will be having O and we will be having G where this is representing the goal configuration this is the state A state B state C state D state E a part of this there are a lot more different states which are possible for example from here you could have taken 0 comma 3 or you could have taken 4 comma 0 or you could have taken 4 comma 3 or you could have taken different different things again from here there are different paths which are possible okay and there may be some paths where they are matching for example here if you take 4 liters of water out of this then it will come 0 comma 3 that means it will go to this state okay so there may be multiple states which are possible so which this is represented by capital S this is a set of all the states which are possible now this small s is representing the initial state so initial state is represented by A G is representing the final state which is represented by E and O is representing the operator but here the operators will be that you will be able to transfer this water here or you will be able to transfer from water from here to here so this is how you will be able to transfer different locations okay so again you can see there are more than one paths which are possible there is one path which is possible here 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 from here to here there are one path from here to here there will be one path so there, there are so many different nodes which are possible and uh, there are so many different paths which can be achievable from this one okay and the operators are fill the jug pour the water in the another jug and pour the water on the first starting jug okay and in the same way if the second problem is can you fill 4 liters of water in the 5 liter jug can you solve this problem how will you solve so to solve this problem initially the goal configuration is initial configuration is 0 0 and the final configuration which you want is 4 comma 0 can you solve this problem try to see if you can solve this problem uh, so what you can do is you can take this one you can fill 0 comma 3 that means you are going to take this empty and you can fill 3 liters of water in this jug now in the next case you will be transferring all these 3 liters of water into the first jug so it is 3 comma 0 now this jug is containing 3 liters of water this jug is containing uh, 0 liters of water now from here what you can do is you can also fill this jug with 3 liters of water so we will be reaching to the next configuration we will be having 3 comma 3 both the jugs are having 3 3 liters of water and then you can fill this jug from water from here that means you will be transferring some water from here obviously it is containing 3 liters it is containing 3 liters there is a 2 liter space which is empty so if you are going to transfer water from here to here that means you will be transferring 2 liters of water so there is 1 liter of water which will be available into this jug so you will be having 5 comma 1 now with the help of this 5 comma 1 now you can clearly see I know we have 1 liter water here 
so you are going to empty this five liter jug so it will be having configuration 0 comma 1 then you are going to transfer this 0 liters of water into this 1 liter of water here and the next configuration is 1 comma 0 now that means the 5 liter jug is containing 1 liter of water and 3 liter jug is containing 0 liters of water now from here you can fill this 3 liter jug so it will be 1 comma 3 again you can transfer this 3 liters of water in this jug so it will be uh, 4 comma 0 so again you reached the desired goal configuration that this jug should be containing 4 liters of water i guess this is very interesting right so uh, i may be making it boring but i think this is very interesting this kind this kind of problems they uh, take some uh, practice before starting the subject also some some cases uh, this type of problem should always be there in the syllabus okay now again in the same way we have this problem which is q and p that means there is a q liter of water here and there is a p liter of water in the second jug now again you can apply different operators on this so that you will be able to transfer some water from here to some kind of amount of water here you will be you may be able, able to have some kind of amount of water here or you may want to have some amount of water in the p liter jug and to solve this problem again there is a multiple multiple methods which are possible okay so you can apply different operators here you can also solve this problem mathematically that means uh, uh, you can represent the capacity of uh, some jug with some variables the capacity of second jug with some variables and uh, to reach to a goal state you may be able to uh, perform the operations which is addition and subtraction that is plus and minus operations okay so for example um, okay so i think uh, that will not be uh, good for us to uh, waste time on that one because that is uh, that giving the solution is not our goal but still i can give you the solution if you want but giving the solution is not our goal our goal is to understand what is the state space so again you can understand what is the state space in this particular example there is an initial state initial state and there is a final state and there are some intermediate states and there may be so many different intermediate states which are possible so many different intermediate states which are possible and there is a some operators like here you can apply the operators as plus and minus that is adding some water into such jug or subtracting some water from that particular jug and this is a water jug problem now uh, we have more problems here uh, which we can take so in the next video let us discuss about some more problems to represent state space so i think you understand what is state space so just do one thing let me just take one more example that will be a final example to uh, represent the state space and then we'll be seeing how we are going to solve these problems uh, with the searching algorithms okay